Straw Hut Media. From Straw Hut Media, <laughs> this is Randy Glanville Unfiltered. Hey guys, it's B. So I did my first interview ever since Ultimate Girls Trip Drama with Teresa and Melissa. Not that Melissa, another Melissa. Namaste, bitches. So if you want to hear my side or understand me, I would appreciate if you listen. And if you don't like me, fuck off. What's up, our namaste bitches? It's Melissa Feaster, and I'm here with my girl, Teresa. What's up, Teresa? Hey, sweetheart. Um, Hi, namaste bitches. I'm here, and we have a special guest. She's amazing. She's beautiful. She's been on for a while. Who? On Beverly Hills, Brandy Glanville. Brandy! Hi, I'm so excited to be here. I finally get to do it. I was like, we talked before. And I was like, not doing interviews yet, but this is my first interview, guys. Really? Ah, oh, we feel so privileged. <laughs> oh my gosh, Brandy. Because listen, we listen, you guys, of course, you know Brandy from Unfiltered. Uh, I listen to you all the time. I've been wanting to talk with you forever. And then Teresa, I'm like, Teresa, like freaking way before everything. I'm like, dude, we got it. If we're going to start being able to have guests. We got to get Brandy on. What a fun time that will be. Yeah. And I said, and I said, she was so much fun. I've had, you know, I've hung out with Brandy. She's, you know, she's so much fun. And I love, again, people that make me laugh and she makes me laugh. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm always cracking jokes. I'm like, I love to have fun. Like, that's just, life is too short not to, you know? Yeah. And we hung out one time with her ex boyfriend and Dina, a whole bunch of us, my girlfriend, Rosanna. Remember we went to that restaurant in Cali? Oh God, I think there's videos of us somewhere that yeah. are a little nuts, but like fun nuts, nothing crazy. Yeah, no, we had so much fun that night. Well, Teresa, you got to come back out. We we're just saying I'm in LA too. The two blondes will get together and start the fun and then you can just pop in when you want. I love that. I love that. How are you doing? I mean, Brandy, what the fuck? How I are know. you doing? I mean... I didn't even know what else to say, honestly. I was like, I'm just going to say, how are you doing? Because I don't know what else to say. It's insane. Yeah, I feel bad for you, Brandy, just because I feel like no one, you know, no one should go through this. Like, if you if you're if you sign up to be on a TV show together, then you're in it together. And um, I don't know. I just feel like nobody should take anybody's job away or hurt anybody's. Hey, what's the saying? Like, there's a saying about, like, taking food off of somebody's. Oh, yeah, I know that one. So you don't take food off of another person's table or whatever. Especially a single mom. You know, I would never want to do that, you know? What is happening, though? Because, of course, Brandy, listen, uh, hello, my co-host is Teresa. We hear everything. Like, you hear all the shit that's going on, and it's like, okay, what do I believe? There's so much stuff always out there. I don't know what you can talk about. I don't know what you can't. But, like, what's happening? Well, I don't know if everyone knows. I went on um, the Ultimate Girls Trip season. Like, it was my second season. And we went and Caroline Manzo went with us. And we actually got along fine. And then we had, like, some altercation. And then later that evening, like, it was a belly dancing, you know, party. And I thought everything was fine. So did all of the other women. So it's very confusing for me. Um, what she's saying. And it's also like being stamped with like the scarlet letter, like saying that somebody was inappropriate in that way. Like I just, my recollection, all the other girls recollection is that we were all just having fun. Like, yes, I'm like, yeah, I'm a little nutty. I might give you a lap dance. I might be a little bit like, but just say stop, you know, or don't. And we all stayed up the whole night and had a great, not the whole night, but like until two in the morning, didn't know anything was wrong until the next day. So it's hard because it's just been devastating, honestly, but um, my kids are going through, you know, it's a lot. It's not just me. It's like all the blogs and all the articles and it's difficult. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I feel bad. Like, you know, you hear these bits and pieces when it started, right? right? And it's like, okay, what's true? And then you supposedly hear some more and is that true? Is that not true? And then you know, there's a point that obviously where you're going to come on and talk with us, but you couldn't then. And then I, she was supposed to not be saying anything. And then I saw her on two T's. I 
think was it two T's that we just saw her on? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I heard that she was on there. I didn't hear it. Did you listen to it? I did. Yeah. Because I was concerned. And what what was she saying, Brandy? Is anything that year that she was like not telling the truth about? I don't, I mean, she didn't say much, like all the blogs and things like were, you know, they, they kind of sensationalized things because half the stuff they wrote about, she didn't even say. She just said that she was disappointed in my tweets, which, you know, I like resolution. I just like to talk to her and figure this out, but I don't think that's happening. And it's unfortunate. I don't know. I really don't know what to do because I'm kind of stuck in between waiting till the show comes out and what I don't work for six months until the show comes out. Oh, because you're not you're not allowed to do anything. Well, it's not that I'm not allowed to do anything, but when there's this, you know, gossip about you out there, it's, you know, devastating. No one wants to work with you. Like all my jobs kind of canceled. And it's been difficult. Like I said, it's hard. And that's another thing. Like there was other women there. So the truth is going to come out, you know, and um, it's sad because, you know, Brandy's a single mom. You know, she's raising her her two sons, you know, and it's like sad. Like that's the thing. I would never want to take somebody's job away. I, I'm not into that. I'm so not into that. No. I, Especially I mean, the, I, like I was a single mom at one point. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, and you have so many beautiful girls. Like there's so many of them. What, four? Yeah. Yeah. I have, yeah, I have four. Yes. Four. Yeah. Four kids. Oh my God. And four that's girls. I, I have two boys and they just like beat each other up and it's easy, but girls are <laughs> so dramatic. I don't, I have three nieces. And my phone blows up constantly with the drama. So I'm no, like lunatics because girls are freaking lunatics. Nuts. No offense. I'm not yours, but like in general. Yeah, no, thank God. They're they're really, they've been so, knock on wood, they've been so amazing. Yeah, they're like, it's it's like fun. Like I love this age with them. It's good. Yeah. Jake's actually going to be 16 on Saturday and I'm, I've been planning his birthday today. Oh, I know. It's like the baby, they're like, they're growing up and I've watched your girls grow up on TV and so it's just so weird that they've gotten like they're adults now to an extent. And your boys are so handsome. You know, they are. See, you guys are like the old, I have, Brandy, I have a four and a five year old. You're going through it. You deserve wine in the middle of the day if you want it. I'm still, <laughs> oh yeah, there's, it, this is just vodka. So, I mean, it's vitamin water. Mommy's, it's mommy's water. That's what they call I'm it. Like, okay, <laughs> I'm like, I needed it. It makes you a better parent, Chardonnay. So, like, I didn't even know where, like I said, when we started out, I didn't even know what to say and where to start because I know I'm sure you can't say a lot of things. I guess it's just like there's so many stories and you know 99.9% .9 of them are bullshit or they're fabricated or like you said, they like to take something and run and it's not, right. like you said, it's not even Caroline's words. I landed at LAX and my I got off the plane and my phone was blowing up like different reporters, they already had like one side of the story. It was like blowing up everywhere. And it was like, it's a very, you know, it was, you know, she has her truth. I have my truth. And then we're going to figure out what the truth is when we see the footage. You know what I mean? Like I, you know, we were all drinking, even her. And so none of us have seen it, but me, Vicky, Phaedra, Eva, Gretchen, we all have the same recollection. Right. And so it's, okay. I don't know. And and honestly, like if I did go too far, which I can, honestly, like, you guys know me. I mean, you saw me last season. I was, I stuck my tongue down Taylor's throat. I gave everyone lap dances. But again, it's like, know your audience. Like Taylor's cool with it. And she's been on TV and she, you know, I know her. I don't know. I've never met Caroline, but we got along in the beginning. No, I mean, I have to say I've hung out with Caroline and um, I've seen her have a good time. I, I have, I have. I'm not going to say what what I saw her doing, <laughs> but I did see her having a good time. So I was like, wow. I was shocked when I saw it. I was like, wow, that's Carol. Oh, she, actually, she was having fun because she said she didn't want to do the belly dancing thing because she felt like, what is the word, insecure a little bit about not wanting to, just, you know, we were all kind of half naked. So, you know, we want to make her feel more comfortable. So we were doing shots and like trying to get everyone we were already wasted, but but we're trying to get her there. Comfortable. Like, you don't want anyone to be uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Like you want everyone to have a good time. And that's I always say, like, I am the party. <laughs> and, you you know, bring it, baby. Yeah, it's like life is too short. And so I want to have, you know, as much fun as possible. And I just, you know, I I don't know what I could do differently. So But the cameras caught it all. Yeah, we were all in the same room the whole time. Like there was never a time where I was alone with her. You know, and if there was like a real issue, I feel like production really would have stepped in. You know what I mean? If it was like what they're saying, there's no way 
especially with yeah, the- you know what production does, you know. I mean, if well, especially on a, the whole point of an ultimate girls trip is you break the fourth wall. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, well, we did. yeah, we did. I mean, you'll see that like after, you know, it's a lot of production, you know, because the girls were mad because I, I had to leave. You also, I can't get too much up, but yeah, you know, it's, we have this, well, I was talking to Teresa about it. There's HR now. I've never in the 12 years I've done reality TV had HR on a shoot. So, it was so bizarre to me that all of a sudden, you know, we have this. We're supposed to be a little unhinged, right? Like, that's the whole point of it. Yeah, for sure. Why else would they do it if you're not? Well, hello. Then then there should not be any alcohol on set. That's what I'm saying. Then they have, if they're going to have HR, then they, we shouldn't have been working 18 hours that day. We should have had our alcohol intake monitored. Like, all of the stuff. You can't have just the police without the laws. You know what I mean? No, I mean, that is true. I mean, there shouldn't... Exactly. There's alcohol involved. Like, and that's... I'm, I'm just saying, this is... Yeah. I mean, if Caroline wasn't comfortable or anything, like, she could have just, like, left. Because there is alcohol involved. And, like, I guess... Yeah, we were just having the time of our lives. It was a long... You've done the Ultimate Girl Ship. It's a longest day. Honestly, it's like you get up at 9 in the morning, you don't have a break, and you have, like, five events that day. And so this is the last event of the day, but prior to this event, I did, you know, have an argument with her. Same day, everything, but, you know, she brought up kids. Like, you can't bring up my kids. You know that, that, like, if anyone brought up your kids, Teresa, you'd go batshit. I mean, oh, yeah. Any, anybody that brings up, like, kids in a negative way. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody did that on my show, and I, yeah, nope. I, I still can't look at them the same because. Right. It's just like you don't you don't say something negative about a child. Well, she did. She said something negative about your children. That like you know, kind. I don't want to get specific, but like, how would they feel seeing you like this if they were here? And I'm like, you know, but they're not there. But they weren't there. Why are you going to say that though? Right? Like, don't don't even like insinuate that she's doing something and like judge. Like that's judgy. And by the way, Brandy, that takes me back to that dinner that you had at the Berkshires. Yeah. No, that's like I think that people know that my trigger is my kids. Everyone's trigger is their Everyone's kids. trigger should be kind. Yeah. yeah, that happened on my show. Like, oh, I, I'm glad I was not a mistake. Right, <laughs> as much, exactly. as, much yeah. as I could be. Yeah, a little bit of that in me because I flip the switch. I'm not a table, but a switch. And I just want to, I want to kill everyone that's, you know, that's saying anything. And I, I did with my words. I'm a, like, I don't like to fight, but I'm really good at it. And so I let her really have it. So yeah, she was pretty upset with me going into the belly dancing as it was anyway. Do you think this is some kind of like retaliation? Like what's happening now? Like, I'm just pissed at you. So I'm going to stick it to you. Um, I feel like that's how a lot of the other girls feel. I mean, like it kind of like makes sense just because they she said they had a fight before. And then maybe like she didn't like the way the fight went. And then like this is her way of like crying wolf. Because, like, right, you guys were getting along, you said. You were getting along before that. We were totally getting along great. And she was, you know, she was definitely, like, more of a mom kind of figure when she came into the group. She had, you know, talking about her granddaughter a lot and, like, getting her steps in, walking around the pool. I made some jokes with it. I was just, they're like, where's Caroline? Like, she's getting her steps in on her watch. But, you know, it was all in good fun because she was. She was walking around the pool, like, a hundred times. But, you know, she, like, she was cool and I don't know what happened. And I don't know if like, you know, there's also that buyer's remorse thing. Like we got a little wild, things got a little nutty. And then, you know, the next day you think about it and like what people are going to see and you're like, Oh shit. Like that's not my brand or, you know, I went too far. Oops. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Than that. Like that's like, that's more me, not me, not her. So I don't know. I don't know if there's a combination of everything. I don't know what it is. I just want it to be over. This has been the worst. Like, besides my divorce, this has been the worst time in my life. What are they saying now? Like, hey, Brandy, sorry, you can't do anything because you're painted as this now. And you just have to wait until the show comes out and, and truth comes out i mean what what are you what are they saying well they're just saying we want like my other jobs i had a a job a show coming right when i started right when i got back and they were like we just want to wait for the bad press to die down but it's like not dying down and then my social media some of my social media stuff kind of canceled and i was just like you know because you get you know there's headline porn and so people read the headlines and they just assume everything's right 
like they said, I'm the reason that she wouldn't do reality TV again. But I listened to the podcast and she didn't say that. She was like, I would do Housewives if they met my number. So she's still saying she would do Housewives. Yeah, m- money talks. Yeah. Money always talks. So I'm like, where did they get that from? You know, like, why, like they're, maybe they need to re listen to her, what she said, because. I don't know. This is the two T's podcast. Yeah. Tamara sent it to me because she just wanted me to know because we're really good friends. And she's like, you know, I just want you to know, you know, ahead of time, this is like, it's really benign. Nothing really happened. But oh, and that's another thing. This if Tamara's your friend, why would she have her on there and not have you on there? So she asked me, I can go on whenever I want. But I didn't. This is my first interview. And I'm still scared. I'm going to say too much? No, no, I know. And I don't want to say, I don't want you to get in trouble. No, we don't want you to get in trouble. But my thing is like, why, if Tamara's one of your good friends, why would she have someone that's hurting you on her podcast for money, right? Yeah. (laughs) For ratings, for ratings. Nice friend, nice fucking friend. Just saying. I I would say that she's, she also has a publicist and she's out doing interviews constantly right now. And I'm like, if you're that traumatized, like, how are you doing all these interviews? Because no, no, but I'm talking about your friend Tamara. Oh okay, yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying, like, as far as yeah, like I'm just saying, like that's a really good friend, Brandy. I like, know. I, I would make sure I would always keep her around. <laughs> yeah. Are you close with Teddy too, or just Tamara? No, yeah, I'm closer with Tamara, but I like Teddy. We've always gotten along. Yeah, these California people. I don't know. Hey, yo, 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 yo! I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, you're fucking like, old. Don't sorry. worry. End with people backstabbing. Like I don't know. I see a lot of that going on. Like right. Like, I know because there's no backstabbing crazy people in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I watch your show. Come on. No, I know. I know. I, you know. I, all right. I put my foot <laughs> in my mouth. There's a fucking a lot of backstabbing <laughs> on my show, and it's not even strangers. Thank you very much. Yeah. Do you think that she would fit on in on your cast now? Because I feel like. She might not. Well, she could fit in with people that want her to fit in. You understand? Like Dolores still talks to her. So she would fit in with people that want her to fit in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just feel like, you know, if you're not used to people doing crazy things. Like anybody that doesn't like me will definitely be her friend. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, really? You're right, Brandy. Like Ultimate Girls Trip in my, again, you guys have done it. I'm just looking in on the situation. I do feel, though, Ultimate Girls Trip is, it's the ultimate, right? It's not just the housewives. It is, like, the housewives on crack. Yeah. You are talking about the best of the best, the craziest of the craziest, the most loudest, the, you know, all of that combined, yeah. drunk, all day. Uh-huh. Like Ramona was saying, there's the intimacy, like, you wake up, you shit, you eat, you sleep, you go, like, everything all together and or drink yeah in our own rooms like we're all under one roof you know in a house together and there's no there's no kind of privacy you know there's cameras in the room not in the bathrooms but there's cameras in the rooms so they're filming everything everything yeah it's a seven day shoot with two days of travel so imagine you have to get six episodes in seven days a lot yeah i mean you're non-stop filming and by it's the like- way how long was your flight you're also coming jet lagged, exhausted. Yeah, 15 hours. Ay, ay, ay. I, I feel like if you're going to kind of, you've been off of the show for a while, you kind of, you know, get your feet wet by maybe coming back to the housewives that you were on. I feel like going from, I'm not doing anything and I haven't been on the show for a very long time to going to a freaking ultimate girls trip. And you don't really don't play that way. Like you're not a let's party and like show tits and like, you know, get naked kind of person. That's, that's maybe me. not your speed. Right. Yeah, no, exactly. And like, that's the thing. If you haven't been on TV in 10 years, it's really changed. Like I, you know, I've been very lucky to work a lot, but you know, it's nutty. It's, it's really evolved. It's like this whole new, like if you flip the table now, you would be, like five, you know what I mean? Like, the, like HR, you can't throw a glass of wine. You can't do anything that we've been doing over the years for so long because the rules all of a sudden have changed. We didn't have them the last of my girls trip, but all of a sudden we have them this trip. Yeah. Things have changed. Like I, I threw everything on Margaret in Nashville, like everything on the table. Everything. Did you want see that? Yeah. Yeah. She pissed me off and uh, I'm so glad I did that at, at the yeah. time because, you know, she, right. I was <laughs> HR, please don't be listening right now. No, no, but that was, it is what it is. She's she, like, she, she, will, she likes to run her mouth. So I like to clear the table on her. So that's what I did, you know? 
Exactly. So don't, yeah. don't, you know, like, listen, you can't keep running your mouth, you know, and thinking like nothing's going to happen. Just saying. No, like, I mean, words are just as provocative, I feel like, you know, and then. No, words are worse because you yeah. see what's happening to you. Yeah. Words are worse. That, that's my point. Words are worse. And it's so sad when like words hurt other people. Like, it, like you know, and, and like, this is my thing, Brandy. And I know you're very, you know, you're very namaste and the karma. <laughs> like that's, no, I'm serious. Like, like you shouldn't like try to hurt someone, you know? Like I was, I was just telling Melissa the other day, I, I talked to Danielle Staub because I feel bad still, yeah. you know? I mean, even though she kind of burned her bridge yeah. at the end, but like I tried to bring her back. Like I didn't like that her job was taken away. I just don't like anybody's job yeah. taken away, you know? No, I, I would never do that, you know? Yeah. And I also think that you're in a better place now and you're very like, I'm, I need resolution. So the fact that this is not like resolved, it gives me anxiety. I've lost like so like seven pounds. Like I, yeah. And I don't need to, right. Like, I was going to say, and you don't need to. So I hope, listen, I would love for us to like, I hope Caroline listens to this, but I'm sure she's gonna. And I hope, you know, I hope that she sees that. Cause I could tell like, you don't want any bad feeling you know anything bad to go between the two of you and like you know and it was all fun and like especially there was other housewives there yeah you know so you guys were all you know in it together so i mean and that's going to be another thing like if the other housewives are saying the same thing you're saying it's not going to really be good for her then because everybody's going to be saying the same thing and you've talked to the other housewives correct oh yeah for sure they're like we all had the same takeaway you know we were just having fun and you know they can't speak up right now but they did in the moment on the show. So you'll see that. Do you know if anybody's um, speaking her tune? I don't know. I don't think so. I think, well, the only people that would would be Alex or Camille. And I don't know. They're, you know, I don't know. Oh, 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 Camille uh, from Beverly Hills. You guys don't get along. Camille and I had an issue, but we like, it's fine. But like she had Camille and this girl from New York that were her friends, Alex. And I don't know what they're saying because I don't talk to them. You know what I mean? Oh, God. Okay. But the other four, like, you know, it's like, you know, but Brandy, I get it because like, for me, I'm like, if there's an issue, like, let's just figure out how to solve it. Right. I'm the same. I need resolution or I go, like I eat myself alive, you know? Can you talk to her? If you called her and were like, Caroline, can we just talk it out? No, I mean, they can't talk. It's probably legal issues now. So they just can't. I don't, I don't have any legal things against her or anyone. No, but I'm saying, like, I'm sure your attorney's probably telling you not to reach out to her, correct? Well, I just, I haven't. You know, I tried to talk to her the next day when I found out she was upset and she didn't want to talk, you know? But can you see maybe now, like, just get, like, ask your team, like, can we reach out and just see if she'll talk? Like, we can find this middle ground? Well, it doesn't seem like she wants to right now. I mean, with all the interviews she's doing, it just seems like, you know, one, you know, one, at one interview, she's traumatized and, and it's because I was inappropriate. And then the next interview, she's saying, well, it wasn't really what Brandy did. It triggered a past trauma for me. So I don't know what it is. And neither one of us have seen anything yet. So like, I don't, I don't know. I would, I would love that. Maybe you guys could reach out and be like <laughs> the go-betweens. Yeah. I don't, I don't talk to her. Um, I really don't talk to her, but I mean, I've seen her. No, Teresa, we probably don't need you reaching out. To <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> How did you feel, Brandy, like going into the housewife, like d- doing this next? Because, you know, we saw you on, at, at the Berkshires. How did you leave Berkshires? Did you feel good about doing that? Yeah, it was great. Honestly, it was like so much fun. I mean, there was a drama, obviously, but we are all kind of coming out of COVID. Yeah. It was just a great, it was just great to be in a social situation and I don't know. I'm, I'm always just myself. So, it, you know, I went in and just was myself. So I had a great time and I still talked to all of those girls. So I thought it would be kind of the same, you know, uh, there was drama. There was enough drama for this not to have to be an issue for the show. Say prior to that, because you know, there was girls that had issues on there and they were fighting and people will, you know, like the drama, of course. So I don't know. You're trying to process it. Like, listen, I can even just like looking at you and hearing you talk. I just feel like you're just like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I don't, everything. I don't know. Like there's nothing I can grab onto that's concrete because there's so much shit getting thrown out there. 
Exactly. And I'm just stuck in this limbo. Do you know when when the show is going to come out? I think it's in September. So it's like right away. Boy, uh, that's a wild way, man. Yeah, I don't. I yeah, that's a wild. You know, I don't have interviews yet. It's like that, that's down the road. I don't know. Well, it's ended. I mean, it has to be a minute. I mean, you guys just like it just ended. So it's going to be. Are you at least happy that like all this scandalous stuff is happening with Vanderpump to like maybe flush your stuff out? You know what? Honestly, like it's so funny you say that. I don't even think is it that big of a scandal. All of those people on that show have cheated. I, Brandy, Brandy, I have freaking That's said so- a million times. Why is everybody losing their mind? This right, is I don't all get it. how we started. Well, and that's another thing. Wait, didn't Tom cheat on the girl that he's with now? Yeah, that he just yeah, cheated? Yeah. So like, that's my thing. So it's like, it seems like it's a recurring thing and it's like a great thing for drama. So I think maybe they're doing it like just to keep yeah. doing it. And it's like, it's great for, dra- you know, it's great. Literally everyone has cheated with somebody like. Oh, that's right. Why is it the same thing? We were watching it. I'm like, well, she's the with this person they're like oh you're a horrible human i'm like well you slept with my ex-husband <laughs> um well i was pregnant and married you know like everyone on that show is up with like has cheated so i don't i don't get the scandal to be honest but yes i'm happy that it took away from the drama that i'm undergoing i mean raquel is definitely enemy number one so if anything you should send raquel some flowers and say <laughs> Oh my God. I just, I don't know how all those girls can be on their high horse when they've all cheated. So, and the guy. That's exactly. That's why it's like, you're coming down, but like, how did you get your man or how, you know, it's, it's, you know, people say that, but I think it's the fact that it's Ariana maybe, and people just love her and she's yeah. Miss USA or whatever. So, but you know, cause I know you obviously had your issues yes, with that crew. Yeah. We're good now. We actually are friends. So you and Sheena. Yeah, we're friends. So look how forgiving Brandy is. Like, you know, I didn't even know that happened. Melissa told me before. And I was just like, wow. And like, look at like I love that. Like my whole thing, life's too short. You just gotta be more namaste in life and like and not be like, you know, like I mean, know I, what you did. Remember that? You know what you did. Right, exactly. But I blew up. And then I'm over it. People, that's why in Italians, that they say it. And the tongue, like, like the tongue breaks like bones. Like yeah. it keeps, yeah. that's yeah. how sharp it is. It's an Italian saying. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's a, you know, yeah, you could ruin lives that way. You really t- could. It's, it's unfortunate that people do that to other people. Well, you know, like they say, wait, I, I forgot the exact saying. Oh, here we go, Teresa. Say it, say it in, in a, say in Italian, so it sounds sexy. La lingua, um, lingua. Uh, the, oh, the tongue doesn't have bones, but it breaks bones. I think oh, that's, that's what it's good. Like. Yes, and I'll bone meaning, you. That's yeah, the end of it. no, but meaning like it's you know it's like yeah. it's yeah you could it's very hurtful like things that yeah. come out of people's mouths because unfortunately somebody says something and other people yeah, believe okay. it and right. other people believe it. and you could be lying and people right. believe it and that's it's unfortunate we live in this world that like everybody out there don't believe everything you hear right no, seriously like you don't because there are people that are trying well, to hurt Randy other screaming people. that at the top of her lungs right now <laughs> No, but that's what i'm saying there's other people that try to you know, if somebody's screaming louder, then that means that they're they're telling the truth. No, that's not mean. That means like the, you know they're like grasping at no. straws, and they're like just trying to put it out there and scream louder, so then people listen to them. It's like you know, always like don't believe everything you read, right? And also, like unfortunately, on this platform, we all know if you say something on the show, regardless if it's true or not, it's in the universe. For consumption, we will never forget it, and th- and that's very sad. Yes. So, is this harder because, like, you went through some like towards the end too of doing Beverly Hills, like it was a lot going down with like you and Lisa, you know, all that. Is this just way harder? Yeah. This is a whole. Oh. My kids are involved. You know what I mean? Like, they they read the stuff, and Mason helps me with my Instagram, and like, they're like, mom, like they saw me like curl up on the couch. I didn't leave my couch for like a month, and they were like very worried about me because it's like everyone wants to talk about it everywhere you go. So I just didn't go anywhere. If that makes sense. Cause I didn't want to talk about it and I was still processing. I've never been fired from a show except for housewives, but in the 12 years I've been working. So this is like 
very traumatic. And I hate that word because she's been saying that, but I just, I don't know how to do this. I've never had to deal with this before. Like, what's your daily? Are you leaving now? Are you like, what are you doing? Are you so, so, are you just. Oh, no, I have to, like, I have the boys this week, but like on the weeks that I didn't have the boys, thank God for like my podcast um, and going into the studio, like that was the only time I got to leave. But like the boy, like I have to drive Jake to school and pick him up because he's going to be 16, but he has no desire to get his license, which is crazy to me. But no, like I have Mason's here and I made like breakfast, lunch, and dinner and I keep busy with the kids. But when I first got back, it was, you know, Super Bowl. All my friends were like, come over. I'm like, I'm, I wasn't even answering my phone at all. Cause everyone like that you've ever met in your life is texting you wanting to know the truth. And you're like, I don't even fucking know it myself. You know what I mean? I mean, at this point, let's say, okay, cause it's, listen, Brandy, you know, you've been through shit before. It's not like all this reality has been smooth sailing for you. No, of course not. You know, we'll find out the truth. You and Caroline will come to some kind of, kumbaya terms and hopefully like we move on quickly before it airs in September are you then would you even think about like doing you know because there was by the way you which I fucking was eating up like a chocolate chip ice cream cookie (laughs) dough deliciousness in my hand when you're showing the diamonds and you're getting us all hungry for your return back to Beverly Hills were you completely all just, just fucking with us or was there something going on? No, I mean, there's all, you know, you don't know until you know. Totally. There's always like the talk. Well, Teresa's like a given. She's going to be on the show no matter what. But like, there's always talk every season of, you know, they reach out to you and see what you have going on because that's really important for storyline. And then you just wait. So I was just waiting. But with everything happening online, I was like, fuck it. Like everyone's asking him, like, I don't know like I will, and I have such a big mouth. I'll be the last person to know. So I just did the diamond thing because I was getting annoyed with it all. That was incredible. I was like, God, I wait, wish. Wait, I don't know. T- fill me in on that, Brandy, real quick, and then you fill her in. By the way, I was like, God, I wish I had her number and I could just tell her how amazingly perfection that was. <laughs> so I was putting on the jewelry box, and I was like, Oh, and it was like a broken earring. And it's so pretty. I'm like, oh, look, guys, I got my diamond back to my kids as a joke. And then I was sitting, because then they go to their rooms and play video games. I'm sitting on my couch alone. You're like, gold. And I'm like, screw it. Like, probably having some wine. Let's be clear. Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and I just decided to do that. And everyone's like, wait, what? And then everyone got mad at me. Because I'm like, you guys, I've told you all a million times. I don't know. I will never know. <laughs> It'll be the last Oh, to- wait. I know what this is. Then it's like, are you the traitor? You do know. By the way, oh, side yeah. note. Teresa, sorry. A side note, fucking traitors. I was like, this show is going to be so stupid. I am not watching it, even though like, I'm cool with Kate, cool with Reza, cool with Kyle. I love you. I'm like, this is the stupidest fucking show. But then Kyle was going to come on my other podcast. I was like, fuck. I guess I should watch it real quick. Or, or Reza was one of them. And then I'm like, oh my God. And I watched like the entire thing and like one. Anyway, sorry. No, I'm not like, it was so fun to do that. So different. And like, that was like right out of COVID too. And it was just fun. Except like, we didn't get alcohol, which sucked, which probably made it a better thing because we got to do physical like tests. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys were physical. Yeah, I didn't like it. But I was like, I could do it. But like after I left, I heard like they had bugs and all the shit. And I was like, oh my God. I would not have done that. Oh, really? I was like, house. I'm like, you're a traitor and you're a traitor and you're a traitor. Like, you got to keep that to yourself. You have to fly under the radar. And like, they pissed me off. So I just went in. Was it crazy though? Like, I mean, what the difference between doing traitors and then going to the housewives, this ultimate girls? Was it like completely different? Housewives is like, party you know Teresa was like you drink yeah. you know you go on beach trips and dinners this was not any of that this is like you're secluded you have to be you can't be around people after you rap because you're not allowed to have any co- they take your phone they take your computer you can't talk to your kids wait I think they yeah, I got asked to do that too I'm like there's no way I'm doing that yeah because I couldn't like I can't yes. have to talk to my kids I need my phone yeah sorry you're strategizing you're sober 
Well, yeah, exactly. So I was like, I got, I read all these books ahead of time to how to like spot, like how to manipulate how to spot liars. <laughs> that liar one was good because it helped me. I knew immediately like about the traders because of their body language. And I was like, wrong about one of them, but I got two right. Like on you were side. banging it out, man. I was proud of you. Oh, wait, so manipulate. I need to, can you teach me that? Because like, there's a lot of that going on, you know. I cannot manipulate. Like, it's not a liar. Because if I could manipulate, I would have kept my mouth shut and been like, it's a, I can't lie. I'm the worst liar. Well, by the way, like you said, it's not just that. You're fucking fueled on booze. Right. Long days. You're exhausted. Yeah. It's, it's just all a combination yeah. of perfection. Well, that's what I mean. So ratings. that's why like none of this... All that should go out the window because that's like you're under the influence. So you don't know what the shit the hell's going on. So the when we sign these contracts, right? I mean, that's another thing. It's like you're, you know, we're drinking alcohol. Right. All day. Alcohol. In the right mind. Like if you weren't drinking or smoking weed, right. obviously you know what you're doing. And right. then, so you're not like, you're not the same that's person. Like, can we see the footage? Because like I, my recollection is that everyone was having fun. The same as the other girls. But like, you don't really know until you see it, especially when you're all drunk and high. You know what I mean? Like, totally. and, like one of the girls that is on fully on my side doesn't drink at all. Like she'll have like one cocktail the whole day. She, I call her a pretend drinker, but I'm like, okay with it. If I was feeling uncomfortable. I'll be like, you know, I'm just going to walk away and that's it. Like, like that. Who the hell is the pretend drinker? I'm trying to go through your Phaedra. Account. I love her. But oh my like, God. Duh, Phaedra. She has like one like signature cocktail and she nurses it the whole day, but. You know, the guy gave us roadies. We were in the car drinking, the bus drinking, like at every event because they didn't have like a lot of booze, like and the restaurants in Morocco. Now, Brandy, you should actually read the full contract, like that we signed for you know that for, right. for well, Teresa. They're trip. not going to say that like, oh, if you do something because you're drinking, it doesn't count. Like, come on, they're not going to say that. No, no but like, like we didn't no, know. But about- there has to be some clause in there because. Listen, when you're under drugs and drinking, you're not the same person. Well, I'm sure her her crew of her whole attorneys that she's paying a fortune for are you, which again, like not to but bring I, that like, up. That's the whole thing. Like, I don't even want to like as far. I'm not suing anyone. I just want to see the footage so that I can like have a takeaway. You know what I mean? They're not going to show it to me. They declined to show it to me, and it's just like I have to protect myself at this point. So I right. hire someone just to have. To have somebody having my back, you know what I mean? Because this is like getting to the point where it's defamatory, really. Yeah, it's a lot. Well, that's the part that it's sad. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's yeah, it's defamatory. Yeah, yeah, it's like so. It's sad, you know. And I feel bad for you. So I hope, uh, I hope Caroline hears this and has, um, you know, has a good heart, you know, because you know we should all lift each other up, not knock each other down. Seriously. Brandy, let's change. Let's have a laugh because I know you need a laugh. Okay. Okay. Brandy, are you down to play a rapid fire game? Yes. Always. I love games. I know you do. And I was like, we're so like, how do I put this in? Like we should have. Yeah. Let's twist it up and make it fun. We should have started with the game, Brandy. Sorry. I I have my anxieties on level 10 just all day anyway. I just have to breathe. Okay. Listen, rapid fire. Housewife Word Association, Brandy, we're popping the cherry with you. We've never done this in Namaste oh, yeah, history yeah. ever. So this is how it works, Brandy. We say a housewife's name and you say the first word that pops into your head when you hear that name. Okay. Got it? Okay. Are you ready? Are you? Yes. Dude, we need to come up with cool names like booty bombing brandy like game okay that was really bad <laughs> fuck you need to work on that a little bit <laughs> all right now yeah. i don't get paid a lot over here all right brandy. So I'm, I'm gonna go first right yeah yep. you go first Teresa. so the first word that that right. you think of when you hear the name all right you ready brandy yes um kyle richards rich yolanda foster gorgeous lisa renna gangster teddy mellencamp strategic yeah Tamara Judge. Sexy. Denise Richards. Liar. Vicky Gumbelson. Oh, I, like I like I didn't like her in the beginning and now we're like friends and like her boyfriend's calling me, they're in the hospital. I'm like, you love to go to the hospital. Uh you guys are cool now because you guys yeah. went, like Rocky start on in Berkshires. Well, I definitely she got a really good laugh dance from me in Morocco. 
<laughs> oh, well, shit. Anyone should love you after that. I See would that? love you after if that. If you and Vicky made up, I'm sure you and Caroline will make up. There is hope in the world. Okay. Erica Jane Girardi. Uh, makeup. <laughs> Lisa Vanderpump. Strategic. You already had that for Teddy Mellencamp. She is a villain. Like, she's, like, one of the villains of my life, so. Still? Are you guys still, like, right now, like, bad, bad? Never again. Never. I will make up with a lot of people, but I can't with her because too much went down. You know, when you when you have that, that five-year relationship or, like, Teresa with you and whoever, like, you've known. You were very like, close. Very close. And then to have that person use things again i mean i just made up with jacqueline and you know we haven't spoken in six years oh wow and like we were best friends and then you know she brandy's like you're a better person like my life savings to like do all of these things to deal with that situation so like i unless she yeah, wants no, to- i mean it's different i mean it depends like what, you know what level that, right, you know, it gets to like right now. Like I'm just saying, like with that, that this is still harder than the Lisa Vanderpump stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like sometimes you you gotta cut things off. You know, that's I think that's the only person I would say that with. But like at the end of the day, if I saw her on the side of the road and she had a like a flat tire, I would probably still stop and like call AAA, but not talk to her. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. You see, Oh, Brandy, you have such a big heart. I wouldn't talk to her. I wouldn't. She wouldn't know it was me. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> one more person, Phaedra. Oh, the love of my life. I just yes. fucking love her. Bitch. I love her. I love her. I, I love, love her. Phaedra too. I love Phaedra too. She like literally was calling me every day, and I was on my couch. She was checking on me. Aww. It's she's like been, and we would do prayers together. Like she's just been like a light force for me. I just went to Atlanta to hang out with her just to get away because. I needed to, you know. Oh, that was so nice. Yeah. I love that. That means that's like extra special. If you were flying cross country to hang with someone just to feel better, that's like a yeah. next like a next level like friendship. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. We're here to help. No. Well, I'm sorry I'm like a little guarded today because this is my first time talking about it and I am a little nervous. But we're also not here to be like, tell us we No, I know, people, but I, you I know you guys like enough I just like I'm so not used to holding back and I'm, I know been like wait can I say this should I say this you know what I mean and by the way the last thing that you need right now is like something else to cause some <laughs> shit so yeah no and, and you know you should be very careful and just you know follow this is it. like I'm sure you'll get people will get a million articles from this but I'm like I can't think about it I have to like be preoccupied I have Jake's party to plan and being like like Brazilian like jujitsu stuff and like it's going to be all over the yard. And- oh, dope. See, that's what you got to focus on, Brainy. Focus on your kids because that's the only thing that matters, right? And this. And like just cooking. That's all I do is cook and have my dog and go and drive to school, drive back. But it's, yeah, it's been a lot. Well, listen, thank you, Brandy, for joining us today. You guys, of course, you have to go listen to Brandy's awesome podcast, Brandy Glanville Unfiltered on Apple, Spotify, and wherever you listen to all of these amazing podcasts. And don't forget, leave Brandy, leave your namaste bitches, leave us all the best rates, reviews, follow us all, and you can check us out all online. Teresa, where can they find you? At Teresa Judice. Brandy, where can they find you online? On don't Instagram? do it. Don't find me. I'm good. Don't <laughs> <pass. laughs> I don't need any more people finding me online. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm good. Brandy, I'm that's going. not funny, but that was Brandy, fun. Brandy, I love you. Thank you so much for coming on Namaste Bitches. And listen, we support you. And hopefully Caroline will, you know, hear this and have a heart, you know, and say <laughs> we should all lift each other up, you know, and like be there for each other, you know, and it's like life's too short. Yeah, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. And we'll go out in LA when all of this gets finished. Brandy, let's do it. I'm here if you need anything. Yeah, I would Thanks love for that. for doing this. Just of course. if you need anything. Thank you, babe. All right. I love you. I'm going to go to All right. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to Brandy Glanville Unfiltered. Download new episodes every week. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And be sure to leave us a rating and review. And while you're at it, check out some of the other great shows available on Straw Hut Media.